All right, hello everybody, and welcome to my first voiceover made um, Zoo Tycoon speed build credits or thanks to for the suggestion from Lakosh Lakoshi. I'm not sure. He, he says his name every single video, but for some reason I just can't remember when it literally matters. Okay, anyways, so um, ugh, what am I? All right, all right. So I decided I wanted to make a house in the in a de in a desert and I thought hey let's go with some nice beige beige look with some orange to make it look deserty and kind of modern with the nice glass and you know at first I thought it looked fine and it I promise it gets better and better so I added the little orange columns to make it give the look of siding or I forget what it's called Ugh. literally my family built a house two years ago, and for the life of me, I can't remember. Here is where I decided to make a little chimney. Now, I hadn't seen anybody do this before, or maybe I have and I just can't remember, but I thought it'd be fun to make a little chimney, which I did, and I kind of wish I would have added more color to it somehow, but that's something I'll figure out another day. Adding, I added some of the panels to the windows just to give it the more modern and, uh, I guess, I really like to use the space to make it look more not so flat and bland, which is why I added the orange columns around the whole side of the house and then the panes in the windows. Um, here it gets kind of slow because um, I honestly didn't know what, what kind of walls or how I wanted to build the rest of the house. So you'll see me go back and change walls a lot, just um, ignore that. Here I wanted to cover up the giant orange, um, or not orange, the cobblestone looking fireplace thing that was through the wall. So, you know, here I was having a little, uh, struggling moment. And here, this is where you'll see why. So, I, this is where I was really trying to begin to experiment with the invisible, um, the invisible, uh, what's it called? The invisible path? And, um, I realized it only works for objects, which is fine, that still makes my life much easier. It's just the fact that I read it, I wasted like a whole 10 minutes trying to figure out what the heck I was doing wrong, and really it was just the fact that it couldn't be done. So here I was, um, this is this was kind of like, the idea for this whole, um, build was that out in the Sonoran, Sonoran Desert, there was going to be an animal sanctuary, and... I will admit, not all the animals were from the desert, that desert specifically. Basically all of them were from Central America or South America, but you'll see that there isn't very many animals at all anyway, so it's fine. And um, here I was going back and forth with some roof ideas, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I was kind of debating between a flat look, but I always add stairs anyways, so you'll see later that I do that. And I was contemplating covering the rest of the building with oh my gosh it's spinning so fast why was i doing that oh uh, okay okay anyway so this is me covering up the space between the windows and the ceiling and i'm just going around i'm trying to figure out what um what is it called i was trying to figure out what um what what am i saying i was trying to figure out what stairs i wanted to use for the shingles on the house and I decided on this one, and it seemed to work fine. This is me trying to figure out how to cover up this little space right here. And I never really did figure it out, which is fine. It's just, it's kind of annoying. Because there's always going to be a little space between there and the uh, rest of the house. So, I guess I finished the top, and um, now I moved down to the kitchen area, or like business room area. You'll see that I was playing around with the tables and that was because I couldn't decide on a color scheme I wanted to use. So I just settled for this bland, lighter wood look. Then I added a long table, added some carpet to keep the floor looking fresh. <laughs> um, I added a bench around the fireplace and I changed my mind altogether about the table because I wanted it to take up less room. And there we go, there's me walking through the house. I'll, I guess I'll put some pictures at the end. This was me struggling with the staircase too. Ugh, it hurts my eyes to watch me walk around so fast. And then there you go, the whole walk around. 
and then I decided, hey, I'll add some trees. So I did. And um, added some more window panes to make it look better. Decided on the save file name Desert. And uh, got to work on the first exhibit. Now the idea here was uh, we had some Caribbean flamingos that were going to be joining us in the sanctuary. And then um, I start off with these gray rocks, but then I think about it some more and I realize, hey, you know what looks better? Light, light, uh, yeah, light brown rocks. That looks better. So um, I kind of took out some of the gray and replaced it with the light yellow. And that's how the flamingo enclosure came to be. Now, I didn't think of like a backstory hardly at all for the zoo, other than the fact that the it's just a small animal sanctuary where the caretaker lives on the property, hence the house, and um, there is all the plants that they need, all the plants the animals need. Um, off camera, I'll come back and I'll add tons of plants because, to be 100% honest with you, my life motto at this point is, when in, when in doubt, add plants. So, you know. You'll see later in the photos and a uh, little walkthrough at the end that um, there are just so many plants, so many plants that I added, and um, it's kind of a mess. So here I was contemplating for the next animal, um, and I decided on the ringtail because I felt like that was a relatively common species, I guess. Here we've got um, the little area I made for him. Uh, once again, I didn't really add any shape or 3D to the land. Here I was making his quote-unquote little house that he could um, walk into. And so he's got that all set up for him. And then there's me filling in the whole thing. And I just used some little one-height posts to fill in the rest of his enclosure. And then I added some items for him so he can survive and not complain too much. And uh, it seemed I liked how it turned out. And then, what am I doing here? I don't even remember. Oh, right, okay, so I wanted to make a house for, um, I wanted to make like a little reptile house, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I don't trust myself with that just yet, so I decided not to. And I searched for some new animals and out came the bush dog. And so I read a little bit about it and I got to work. So you'll see here, the reason why this building turned out so huge was because Initially, I had the carnivore, um, the carnivore piece in there, but it was, it progressively began to bother me more and more how the metal bars stuck out on the top, and I was like, you know what, this is, it just didn't feel right, so you'll see that later I delete it, and then once again I go adding my roof and adding my stairs, and I put, um, the orange all the way around. I didn't really like this one as much as I liked it on the house. I don't know why. Oh, here. So I put a little waterfall in the corner here because my idea was, hey, we can give him like a tropical area inside his little enclosure and I couldn't add plants. So I was like, you know what? We'll delete it. So I did. And everything shifted down and I put some plants in there and um, gave him like half the exhibit is, you know, out in the desert sun where it would be considered really hot, and then the other half is inside where it's supposedly humid and, um, moist. <laughs> yes, anyways, um, I added that wood piece so I could just put a panel in front of the building because it was super bothering me that it was there. Then I go back through, clean up the exhibits because everybody's complaining. I don't always pause the, um, game when I build stuff. And I added some brown dirt and I was thinking, you know what, this is a good idea. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, right, um, so, so, I decided, you know what, okay, well, we, if we're not gonna make a whole little house for the animals, we might as well make a very tiny little spot for, you know, tarantulas and, um, fat-tailed gecko was what I would, or leaf gecko, fat-tailed leaf gecko, I don't remember. And then, um, everything was working out fine. It was doing great. And then, hold on, the audio just switched. Now this is where it got annoying, because I don't- I forgot what exactly happened here, but there was something that happened, and I had to, like, end up 
redoing it and the tarantula wouldn't eat anymore and it was just I had to fix something like something happened with um, something happened with the ceiling now here you can see me going through all of the different reptiles and amphibians and realizing that it isn't working how it is supposed to and um, at this point I was just like fine you know what I guess that's how it's gonna be so you know I just left it at that and decided nothing would go on there um here we have that bench and me looking for that water fountain I also added some weird little pipe thingies for effect I guess and there's me making my rounds again making sure everybody's fine and not dying of some strange disease so um checking in on the bush dogs and then uh I think I had yeah I have one more exhibit I ended up making so I thought hey one so like iconic Central American animal I see in zoos all over the place, capybara. So that was the idea here. I don't know what I was doing. Why was I in the house? I think I was just walking around it because I was having fun. I don't know. And um, back up in the sky again, continuing the exhibit. I kind of went a bit more crazy on the actual like more tropical um, plants and stuff here. I added some water because my logic was, hey, you know, capybaras love water and, um, you know, I feel like they'd be fine if they had a spot where they could lay in the water and that would make up for the fact that they don't really have that humidity and, um, humid area and that little waterfall like the bush dogs have. And then there's me, um, trying to make the entrance out of the letter I and, um, it worked even though it was very time consuming um and i think that's where the video ends so um from here forward i'll just put some more clips and photos and stuff and see what i've got